Hey everyone, Travis here with another Hub Muscle Q&A of the day. So this one comes to me from Snapchat and it's kind of actually reflecting on me as well. They ask, can I work out while I'm injured? And let me first start by saying, if you think you're injured and it's been more than a week and the pain's not going away, please go see a physician. Now, my answer to that question is, depends on the injury and depends on the location. So as a full disclosure, I'm dealing with a torn rotator cuff and ligaments in the right shoulder. That limits what I'm allowed to do. Both my doctor and orthopedic have said, no unnecessary activity. Now, what do they define as unnecessary? They're leaving that up to me. But let's look at different injuries, not just mine. So let's say you stepped in a little like crevice in your yard or you slipped on ice, it is that time of year, and you've sprained something. In those kinds of instances, I would say do not work out. Use the RICE method, rest, ice, compression, elevation. Those kind of injuries are ones you want to let heal and take care of. Now let's say you were working out and you felt your back give out. Again, that's something you wanna let heal, give it time. You don't wanna push yourself. Even doing cardio might aggravate that. Now, if you go up the scale of injuries to what I'm dealing with right now, a torn rotator cuff and ligaments, again, the doctors have told me it is within my discretion and no unnecessary activities. A low to no impact cardio workout. I have not lifted since this has been, been diagnosed. But I'm also not cutting out workouts completely. I do low to no impact. I'll walk around the neighborhood. I'll clean the house. I'll use the machines at the gym that will go zero impact on my lower joints to keep it from jostling or shaking the upper joints. So is it possible to work out while you're injured? Again, that depends on the severity and location of the injury. If it's a lower extremity joint, your knees, your ankles, your hips, my suggestion would be take time, rest and recover. Use the rest ice compression elevation method. Also use heat. If it's your back, give it a little bit of rest. The back is a hinge joint and it helps you in your day-to-day -day movements. If it's anything in the upper body, you can do more cardio. Bike, walk, elliptical, stair stepper. Stair stepper would be a kind of, let's put that off to the end kind of thing. But bike, elliptical, and treadmill, perfect. But no matter what you do, find ways to work out that allow you to do it. Most importantly though, like I've said before, if the injury persists more than a week, the pain persists more than a week, or there's any type of swelling, consult your doctor. Whatever you do though, guys, hope you're drinking your water, hope you get your workout in, hope you're getting healthy. If you are looking at getting in the best shape of your life or getting back to the best shape of your life, look no further than Hub Muscle Personal Training and Nutrition Center. We are not only personal training and nutrition center here in-house, but also online with over 30 years of experience, and we are five-star rated. Log on to hubmuscle.square.site and click the Book Now button.